Uh, Southwest shares plummeting more than 10% since the market closed last week. There's no end in sight for these cancellations. Many flyers are swearing off the airline forever. Good. Competing airlines like American, Delta, United all swooping in with price capped fares in certain cities to save stranded travelers. That's the smartest thing they could do. Is it too late to pull Southwest out of this reputational nosedive? Here with me now, Kingsview Wealth Management Chief Investment Officer and Fox News contributor, Scotty Martin is back. Um, so, Scott, let's discuss because I don't care if Southwest is beyond repair. I really, their, their excuses Bye-bye. have been so thin and lame. The CEO like, well, we just, we didn't have enough tools. It's like, really? You're using C-suite jargon? And then uh, one of their... I didn't know that was C-suite jargon. Yeah, that is. Uh, Jay McVeigh, who's a Southwest <laughs> representative, said, we didn't even have staffing issues. It's like, bro, it's not the weather, it's not staffing. Your airline should not exist. Is there anything they can do to rebound? Well, obviously they will probably come back from this because, as you pointed out with the party panel, the government will swoop in to help again, let's say. And even though the government, by the way, has fallen asleep at the wheel on knowing what Southwest has been up to since they got all this money from us, the taxpayer. Uh, Fun little caveat too, Kennedy. Uh, New CEO at uh, Southwest in the last, say, 12 months, Bob Jordan, who took over from the much-heralded Gary Kelly, who actually didn't improve things that much either while he was still there in the last few years. So this goes all the way from the top to the bottom. And Richard Fowler made me think of those those terrible baggage uh, people that are out there, as far as the bags that are out there that can't find the people that they belong to either. It's also the passengers. And look at those beautiful bags there. They don't even have their homes. No. And can you imagine, like, it's Christmas time. If you're not carrying everything on with you, because they they do charge you to check bags, that means those are full of Christmas presents, probably for kids. And Christmas was ruined for thousands and thousands of children. I hope parents remember that forever. Because otherwise, if there is another bailout, and and they should give the money back. They absolutely should give the $7.2 billion back and start with the people who had canceled flights. And, you know, they're were no real gestures made to get people into hotels, to get them food, to get their bags. They were just like, yeah, go home. We're not going anywhere. Thanks, though. Maybe after New Year's. See you later. And it's also winter. It was also the holidays. So it's not like there were a bunch of flights, you know, ancillary out there to be taken if you weren't getting on your Southwest flight. Uh, To your point, uh, Pete Buttigieg is now all fired up about this, when in reality this has been going on for about five, six days. So now he's turning his attention to it, which, by the way, this is still going on, Kenny. I have some friends that are unfortunately uh, maligned by Southwest currently. They're supposed to not get on the next flight that Southwest has them on until Sunday. So this has been basically about a week of pain, and my Christmas was ruined, not even because of the baggage thing, but I'm going to blame Southwest, too, on it. You absolutely should. Anyone who didn't get the present that they wanted, anyone who didn't have the experience they dreamed of, we all want reparations from Southwest because they screwed up everything. A lot of flights canceled, but when you are humping around 90% of those canceled flights, you should not be in business. And Pete Buttigieg, he should not be a cabinet secretary. He cannot handle the job. Between this and the supply chain issues and the rail workers' strike that he did not avert because he was in Portugal. Oh, it's so lovely. No, I thought no, he was putting he air in the bike go. tires. Okay, yeah, there you go. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna get a ride on my bicycle to a block away, then let me out. Uh, Scotty Martin, thank you so much. See you. Yeah. Coming up next, New